Hey, what's going on? Ted Carr here. And today we're going to be talking about the top five most serious issues that plant-based entrepreneurs face once their irresistible offer is created. Keyword once, meaning the irresistible offer is the biggest piece of the puzzle here. And most plant-based entrepreneurs, they just do not have an irresistible offer. And so this training today, we're not going to be going into creating an irresistible offer. All of that training, I've put so much training out there to help people create an irresistible offer. You can get all of it for free at the plant-based business jumpstart kit. Head on over there by going to uh, veganclients.com, veganclients.com, boom, you'll be able to access this course now for free. And inside here, I'll walk you through not only how to uh, create your offer, but how to sell it as well. So check that out for sure. But let's say your offer is clear and let's say it's, it's selling. You have a proven offer that's selling. This is where the fun really, really begins. These are like, like I love helping people create an offer from scratch, but I think I get the most fulfillment and joy out of helping people sell more of something that's already selling. And the reason I love that is because when you sell something that's already selling, it's it means that you have tapped into a human need that needs fulfilling and you're, 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 you're filling that need for people. Like you're actually meeting a human need. Making sales is equivalent to meeting human needs. And so creating an irresistible offer is all about, as you'll soon find out in those trainings there, if you don't have one already, it's about meeting someone's needs. And so it's very fulfilling for me to help someone sell more of that. And that's what this training here today is all about. So let's say you have an irresistible offer and it's selling, but you're probably, you know, you're probably selling it. Uh, you may not, maybe not necessarily, but you might be selling it from word of mouth or referrals because the first issue I see people have is they don't have an audience. They, they have an irresistible offer. It's making sales. They're making money, but there's no audience. There's no Instagram audience. There's no YouTube audience. There's no email list. And so before I go into depth and share with you my experience with building an audience, just go ahead right now, do yourself a favor and get this book. It's the Bible on growing your audience. It's a free book. You just pay for shipping. If you go to bit.ly forward slash Ted Carr Traffic Secrets, you'll be able to get this book right away. It is the bomb.com and there's even an audiobook available on the next page as well. So check that link out. This is the audience. This is the, the audience growing Bible it is key. It's so, so good. But the main part of that book is all about leveraging, ethically leveraging and ethically siphoning clients and customers from other influencers who have already built up their audience. So let's say, for example, there, let's say, for example, you're a vegan personal trainer and you're looking for people who want to lose weight on a vegan diet and you're just starting out and you don't have an audience. What do you do? It's kind of a problem, right? Well, what you can do is you can go to other vegan trainers, other vegan fitness trainers who have a huge audience of people who are trying to lose weight and you can siphon their customers. You can siphon their audience ethically by creating a mutual, mutually beneficial relationship between you and the other person who already has that audience. So that is the best way to do it. It's called, it's, there's a method called the Dream 100 where you write a list of the 100 people in your niche who have the clients that you want to have and then you create a, ma a map to methodically go and contact those people and start siphoning their customers. Very, very clever tactic, works really, really well. And ultimately it's a no brainer. Like when I was putting together my festival, my Canada Fruit Festival, we didn't have an audience. We had no audience for a festival, it was like a fruit festival. Like those audiences don't even exist or do they? Well, <coughs> excuse me, not in Canada they didn't. So what I did is I went to uh, other festivals around the world other fruit festivals around the world who already had audiences. And I contacted those people. Like there's a festival in New York called the Woodstock Fruit Festival. I contacted all their customers. I contacted the customers of the UK Fruit Festival. I contacted the customers of the Danish Fresh Food Festival, the Thai Fruit Fest. And the way I did that was by contacting the organizers and getting in touch with the organizers and then creating a mutually beneficial relationship between uh, us and them and then, then them giving us some of their customers and vice versa. So the way to do it is just by leveraging other people's existing audiences. And if you don't want to do that, or if you can't do that for whatever reason, then the next best thing to do is just to put out seriously valuable content every single day. And this is the this is the next big issue I see is people just not putting out the content to grow their audience. And so even if they were to get a bunch of audience members overnight, let's say you get a million followers overnight, but you don't have any followers, or I'm sorry, you don't have any content, then it's kind of useless. Your, your audience isn't going to really want to work with you anyway. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, the only reason you have an audience is so you can provide them with value. And it's kind of like trying to create a fire. You're trying to get warmth from the fire, right? But you got to put the wood in first. So you're trying to grow your audience. You got to put the value in first. You don't do that. You don't put the content out. You don't make videos, even when you're getting zero views or one view. If you're not putting out content, it's going to be very hard to grow that following. Almost impossible, actually because they have no reason to follow you. So 
That's the first problem, no audience. The second problem, and by the way, the way to solve that is just by going to this link right here, getting that book, and you're good, at least to get the ball rolling. And then crank out the content, crank out the helpful content. But this brings us to the second point, and that is no call to actions. So no call to actions. You might be thinking, Ted, how is that a problem? No call to actions. Well, you might not see it as a problem, but it's definitely a problem because a lot of people on social media, what they see the problem as being is they're not getting enough engagement on their posts. They're saying, I'm not getting enough... Uh, comments. No one's commenting on my posts, even when I ask them to. Well, I used to be worried about that too when I was just getting started. And now I realize it doesn't matter at all if people are commenting down below or not. What matters is, am I helping people? Am I providing value? And are people signing up for my program? Because if people are signing up for my program, it's proof that what I'm sharing works and it's proof that what I'm sharing is helpful. And so now that I stopped caring about people commenting down below with their favorite fruit or favorite vegetable or putting their favorite freaking emoji... Once I stopped caring about that, I could focus on providing actual value and getting people to uh, take an action that brings them off of social media. So I actually don't want people commenting on my post down below. I want people clicking off and leaving social media and going to uh, my funnel. Like I want them going to the plant-based business jumpstart kit. I want them going to get my free book. I want them going to places like bit.ly forward slash Ted Car Traffic Secrets to get that book. Like I want people off of social media and using call to actions, that is the key. And the issue is a lot of entrepreneurs are not putting in call to actions into their posts. They're just saying like, hey, look at me, have a great day, bye. Useless post. What you want to do instead is, hey, look at me. I wasn't always this lean. I was actually 70 pounds overweight, but now I lost 70 pounds using a raw vegan diet. If you want the same diet, if you want to follow the same diet I follow, click the link in my bio and I'll give you a free meal plan. Boom. That's a great call to action. So big issue is no call to actions, but you've got to have these call to actions in every single Instagram post and every single YouTube video. And you don't need to have the call to action at the very beginning. You don't need to have it at the very end. You can have it somewhere in the middle if you want, uh, but it doesn't hurt to have it at the start and at the finish. If you're having it in the middle, you can just do what I do right now, which is like saying, hey, by the way, if you don't have the plant-based business jumpstart kit, go to veganclients.com. And if you haven't checked out this free book on how to grow your, your traffic, uh, then go to Ted, go to bit.ly forward slash Ted Car Traffic Secrets. Uh, yeah. And actually, I forgot to mention, in this audience building phase, when I talked about finding the people in your niche who already have an audience, one great way of doing that is by using a site called morevegans.com. If you go to morevegans.com, you'll be able to see a bunch of raw vegans who are actively growing their audience and who will actively have like collectively probably like over 100,000 raw vegans, um, you can go to morevegans.com and you can look at those people and you can see uh, how to tap into their audience. So here's an example, morevegans.com, where we got Chris Kendall, Lisa Maris, Nate Maris, Camilla, uh, Ted, uh, Karen, Jade, the King family, Olivia. These people are freaking awesome. And there's tons. Look at all these people. They're all, they're all here. Go to morevegans.com, check it out. And if you want to grab their bundle, you can, but that's not the point. The point is just to go and see what they're, what they're offering and, and check out their audience. So that is key, morevegans.com. But I digress. Let's get back to this. So the third issue I see people see vegan plant-based entrepreneurs experiencing is they don't have an ass. They've got no ass meaning they don't have an automated sales system. You've got to have an automated sales system in place because if you don't, you're going to be doing all this work manually. You're going to be manually doing the DMs, manually doing all the phone calls, manually doing uh, all the texting and all the clicking and all the sharing of everything. Like The automated sales system just makes things so much easier for you. And if you're thinking that you're not techie enough to figure out how to put together an automated sales system out or it sounds kind of complicated, just know that it's it's like learning, like learning the tech it's like learning how to use Facebook. At first, yeah, it sucks. It's really weird. It's like learning how to use Instagram when they update their, their interface. It's like, how, what, what is that? Where is the old button? Where is the old thing? And it's just confusing. It's kind of stressful, actually. But it instantly becomes super obvious. Like on this app I'm using right now called Miro, I've actually just learned how to use this a few days ago. Like I didn't know how to use it at all. I'm like, why do I, how do I like draw a circle, right? And I'm like, maybe it's this thing. Okay, well, how do I get a fat pen? Click that. Okay, but why is it green? How do I make it like black? See, I don't even know how to do that. Oh, there. I click it there. Now I got it. Boom. So you just play around with it, right? And the tech, like learning this software right now that I'm showing you is just as hard as putting together an automated sales system. Now, the way to put together an awesome automated sales system, if you don't want to do it, you can just hire someone for a couple hundred bucks. I, I know a guy that can do it for you if you want for a couple hundred bucks. Just let me know. But it's so simple. All you need is, is social media posts that are going up 
automatically. And for that, we use later.com. Later.com allows you to schedule social, uh, social media posts. They go up and you can post five pieces of content every single day without having to go on social media at all. So from the social media post, that's where it all starts. That's where the automation begins. And then it takes people to a landing page, super, super simple landing page, like the one at veganclients.com where you can get the plant-based business jumpstart kit. Simple landing page, right? It says a free course and then the title of the course, the button to people to put their name and email in, and then boom, that's it. So one, the next page of the landing page, now you have a couple options. Uh, you have a couple options for this automated sales system. The next page, you could then say, hey, now that you're in, do you want to buy this, this thing? I don't do that on that funnel, but I have in other funnels that's been very, very profitable. But on this funnel, what I do instead is I don't do that. I give people access to a, a course. And then once they've gone through that course, at the end of the course, they can decide if they want to book a call. So we'll say BC, book a call. And then that call usually leads to people signing up for one of our programs. And so we get some money from that. Or if they don't buy a program, they at least go back to getting more training, which then they can go through. And then by the time they've done that training, they can book another call and sign up for one of our programs. So, or just directly click a link and buy a program. So point is like an automated sales system allows you to have all of this running on autopilot and all you have to do, even, even that social media, all this running on autopilot. And all you have to do is feed the initial input feed the initial input and then the rest takes care of itself very very cool business model this is what i've been running uh for the past past over, over a year or so now and it's allowed me to make over eight hundred thousand dollars in sales with an automated sales system okay it starts with social media it takes people to a landing page and then from there they, they're off of social media they're going through a course or they're booking a call with us they're buying one of our programs so this all works though if you know, this is only works if you have an irresistible offer, right? So that's why I'm, I so put so much emphasis on that. Uh, but alas, if you don't have an automated sales system, you're doing a lot of work and it's not going to be automated for you. Now, the fourth phase, the fourth, not phase, but the fourth issue I see a lot of plant-based entrepreneurs facing is they don't have consistent sales. There's no consistent sales. And so how do I erase that? The issue with not having consistent sales is... Well, what do you think? It's like a roller coaster of existence. One month you're up, one month you're down. One week you're up, one week you're down. And it's just like you go insane because you can't you can't decide if you're going to uh, buy a car or not because you're not sure if you're going to be able to make the payments because the sales are so inconsistent. You're not sure if you can buy a house or not because you're not sure if you can pay the mortgage. You're not sure if you can plan that trip or not because you're not sure if you're going to have the money. So not having consistent sales is like is, is absolutely deadly for, for living a normal lifestyle. And so the way to have consistent sales is to create this automated sales system. It's to create the automated sales system. And it's ultimately about understanding that there are systems in the universe, right? You got the solar system, you have your digestive system. There's all sorts of systems in, in, in the universe and a sales system is no different. So the way a sales system works, well, like any system, there there's inputs. Okay? Every system has these three elements. And if you can master these three, you only need to master two of the elements actually, which is really cool. So every system has inputs and then it has a process and then it has an output. So if we use our imagination here, we can think of, let's think of a garden. What are the inputs of a garden? What do you need to put into a garden to make it work? You got to put soil, you got to put seeds, you got to put water and you got to put sunlight. That's pretty much it. Maybe some love. Those are the inputs. And then the process, well, the process almost takes care of itself with the garden. Like photosynthesis occurs, bees fly in and pollinate the flowers. Uh, you might have to do some trimming and weeding from time to time. That's part of the process. But other than that, it pretty much takes care of itself because it's set up. It's, it's nature's system, right? It's a natural way. And then the output is, well, strawberries, grapes, green beans, tomatoes, right? And so the way to have consistent sales what this has to do with consistent sales is, is understanding that if this is the case, if you have the system set up and, and this is the case that there's a system, which there is, you understand that let's say you, you put in a hundred inputs, which is like a hundred eyeballs, a hundred, a hundred humans. So it's, it'd be only hundred eyeballs would be 50 humans, but let's just say you put in 200 eyeballs, which is you get a hundred humans into the inputs. And the process is they go through your automated sales system, your automated sales funnel. Well, the output might be, this all might equate to, let's say, three sales. Three sales. And you say, well, Ted, I'm only closing at a 3% close rate. Like, that's not very good, a 3% close rate. Well, what if your 3% close rate, you're charging $1,000 for a course? You just made $3,000 with 100 inputs. You put 200 inputs in, you'd make 6000 right? So, and the same thing, you 10x that. 
you go uh, instead of a uh, hundred inputs, you go a thousand inputs or sorry, th yeah, a thousand inputs that would create 30 sales, 30 sales, at a grand each, that's 30 grand. And this is how I've been able to do over 800 grand in sales because I understand that, hey, I have a system and it works and it's predictable because there's the same amount of inputs create, you know, the same ratio of outputs, uh, more or less the same throughout the year. Maybe it changes around December or January because people are on vacation and whatever. But for the most of the year, it's, it's a very solid, structurally sound, uh, predictable system that we're working with here because we're dealing with nature. We're dealing with the system in the same way that you can predict that you're going to get, you know, strawberries this year, you're going to predict, you're going to be able to predict that you're going to be able to get um, sales. And in the same way that if you were to have a store on the street and you normally get about 50 clients walking in every day to buy something from your store, it's like the same system. It's like the input is you have this, you have, you have the store and humans walk into it and the process is they go and buy something and the output is you make a sale. Like you can pretty much predict that you're going to get 50 clients every day. If you're always getting 50 clients, you're going to keep getting 50 clients. So if you keep getting 100 inputs and it keeps resulting in free sales, it's going to keep happening, keep happening, keep happening. So just understanding that there's a system and that's how you create consistent sales. And, and then just and then just really, really, really honing in on this initial piece of the puzzle, which is just getting more inputs, getting more inputs, getting more inputs. If you want consistent sales, well, you probably don't want consistent like that, right? You want consistent like like that, up, 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 consistently up, 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 up. So for that, it's just finding out how to get more consistent inputs. That's it. And it's just driving traffic, driving traffic, driving traffic, which is why that first book I mentioned earlier, Traffic Secrets, bit.ly forward slash Ted Car Traffic Secrets is so key because once you have that, Hey, you just run the traffic through the process. The process provides the output and you're making sales. Now, the last piece is people are not sure what to do every day. Plant-based entrepreneurs are not sure what to do every day. They're spinning a bunch of plates. They're running around like a chicken with its head cut off. And they're just, they're super distracted. They're doing a million different things every day or, or feeling like they're too overwhelmed. So they do nothing at all, right? And this also leads to inconsistency, by the way, not knowing what to do each day is going to result in inconsistency. And I know when I've made the most amount of money, it's, when, it's been when I've been the most consistent. And I've only been the most consistent when I know what to do each day. So if I don't know what to do each day, I'm not consistent. I'm guessing. And so I don't guess anymore what to do each day. There's no guessing. I don't wake up and think, hmm, what am I going to do today? How, how can I make some money today? No, it's never like that now. Because I've learned my lesson from the past. I've been burned. I've, I've gone through these mistakes and I've realized that I need to know what to do each day from for to feel really good and to make a lot of money. And so one of the best tips or tricks or strategies that you can use to implement what to do each day is, is there's a couple of them, but number one is just find someone in your niche who's doing what you want to do and talk to them and ask them what they would do if they were in your situation. If they have the result that you want, ask them what they would do if they were in your situation. This could be a coach, this could be a mentor, this could be a friend, but it's finding someone who already has the results you want, asking them what they would do, and then just doing exactly what they say. Okay, if you can't actually ask them, then just look at what they're doing and then do what they do. You do what they do, you think like they think, you're going to get the results that they get, right? And so this is why coaching works so freaking well. This is why I pay for coaching, because I need to ask from time to time, what should I do? Coach tells me, boom, now I implement. The next way to do it is if you're just all on your own is where once you have done that step, which I highly recommend doing, uh, is writing down each day what you have to do. So I got a notebook right here. And as you can see, there's, there's things on it and there's check marks on it, right? Check, 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 check. So I write down every night in my yellow notebook what I have to do the following day. So I go to bed like a boss, planning out what I have to do. I, I'm, I'm telling myself what I got to do. Like I'm, I'm the boss of myself. So I'm saying, hey, Ted, tomorrow you have to do this, 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 this. And it's fun to do this. It's very exciting because I, I, I get to do this every day. I get to do this. I get to do this. I get to do this. It's fun. So I write out what I got to do and what I get to do and what I want to do. And then the, in the morning, I wake up like an employee and I get to work. I grab my yellow notebook. It doesn't matter if it's Monday or if it's Sunday. I grab this notebook every single day and I do what's on it. I don't take a day off from this habit because this is a key cornerstone habit. And when you master this, number five is on issue. You know exactly what to do every day and it provides instant relief. There's no more anxiety. There's no more overwhelm. There's no more fear about what to do and, and, and where the next sale is coming from because I know exactly what to do. And I, the, the main thing to do each day for me, and you might be at a different stage in your business, but for me, the main thing to do every day is to get my students results, work with my students to make sure they're getting results and drive more inputs, drive more inputs, drive more inputs, because I have a process, I have a system set up. And when I get more inputs, we get more sales and we change more lives. So I'm crystal clear on what I got to do. And I, if you're like me, you're willing to put in the effort 
you just need to know what to do. You're willing to put in the time. You're willing to put in the focus. You're willing to put in the effort. You just need to know what to do. And if you just knew what to do, you could put in the effort and you could make things happen. So if you would like to speak with me or someone on our team to help you figure out what to do each day so you can actually do it, um, or if you would like to in just in general get clear on on what to do with regards to your audience and what sort of call to action you should give and what sort of automated sales system you should put in place and, and how to create those consistent sales for your business and your product and your service and really ultimately what to do each day to make that happen, um, go ahead and book a call with us at coursecreatorcall.com. We'd love to speak with you and help you out. Uh, coursecreatorcall.com. And on that call, you can uh, get clear on what exactly you should be doing with your business. And so if you go to this site right here, coursecreatorcall.com, you'll see it's a, it's a two-step process. Number one is completing the survey. If you pass the survey, then you can then get on a uh, private call with us and we'll work with you on that. No charge, it's completely free. And if you then like to work with us after the call, if it makes sense to work with us, you can. You can see what other students are saying down below here who've worked with us. We've got to update this. We've got a hell of a lot more videos than that now. But definitely check out the testimonials on this page uh, and see what people are saying about what we do and how we can help. So that's it for now. Peace out. Much love. Adios. Hope this was helpful. I think it was, but you be the, you be the judge. All right. Ciao for now. Peace. Bye.